In 2018, Shadow of the Tomb Raider released after years of waiting. But did you know the developers accidentally included the wrong ending? At the end of the story, you could find a post credit scene that teased the next game referencing a character named Natla. This was such a bombshell that people spent hours arguing with each other, with some calling it fake or an elaborate prank. But no, this was actually real. The developers secretly changed the ending and thought nobody would notice. And that's not the only secret devs left in, because if you ever played a Mario game, you're probably used to seeing this. But did you know that Super Mario Bros secretly has a level called World Minus One? There was a crazy glitch in one of the original levels that allowed players to trap themselves in a pipe. Eventually, you get to a creepy world that was impossible to leave. You'd either have to reset your progress or force a game over screen just to escape. Another secret that went completely unnoticed was hidden inside of Watch Dogs Legion. While exploring the map, you could hack into some security cameras that reveal an underground nightclub. It's a party hosted by default, a character from the first game. And although there is seemingly no way to get inside and most thought it was just an Easter egg and moved on, some people looked further. Well, it turns out that one of the posters on the wall has a secret QR code. For those who scanned it on their phones, they would see a message that says, find my private party at 2 a.m. You would then need to find the secret entrance to the building, which is in the river. At this point, wait until exactly 2 a.m. and you'll be allowed in. For finding the secret room, you can lock the default mask. Now, some secrets are more disturbing than others. For years, the developers of World of Warcraft stayed silent about one of the game's most unsettling locations. In Karazhan, players began to notice a locked off area underneath the cemetery of Morgan's plot. It started off as a rumor, but as more players glitched inside of this place, it turned into World of Warcraft's most chilling mystery. It was this deep and dark crypt filled with rooms like the Well of the Forgotten. If you're brave enough to jump into the well, you would land in the Pit of Criminals, a huge pile of bones leading to catacombs and creepy passageways. By far, the most disturbing room in this crypt is called the Upside Down Sinners. It has bodies attached to chains floating upwards towards the surface. This crypt has been here for decades, and the developers don't don't want anyone getting inside. For years, Blizzard has been battling with players who find new ways to glitch through the gate. There are many rumors as to why it was locked off from being too adult to simply being an unfinished questline, but for now, this is an unsolved mystery. And I don't think anyone expected to find this giant sandwich in Halo Infinite. In the game's open world, you could head to a place on the map named Connections, although when you get there, it's pretty hard to find. For determined players, they realize that this cave has more to it than you first think. If you use a grapple, you could parkour your way through the base and get through a hole in the ceiling. Inside is this giant sandwich with grunts worshipping it, and it even plays 8-bit Halo music. And that is not the only throwback. In Ratchet & Clank's 2016 reboot, players found an incredible secret room. After beating the entire game, you can start again in Challenge Mode, and it's here that you find a teleporter that promises to take you to the Insomniac Museum. It's pretty empty at first, but you can unlock gold bolts to open the doors and expand the museum. Eventually, you'll see tons of references to older games, work by the developers, and a lot more. There has been an Insomniac Museum hidden in almost every Ratchet & Clank game, and this was no exception. One of the coolest video game discoveries in history can be found in Halo 2. Bungie included a secret weapon throughout the game nicknamed the Scarab Gun. There were some super complicated methods to get this thing. I mean, it's a miracle anyone actually found it. For those who did, they now had their hands on the most powerful weapon in the entire Halo franchise. It has unlimited ammo, no reloads, and never overheats, not to mention you could dual wield them. The only problem is that the gun is so powerful that it's practically impossible to use without damaging yourself. And it looks like Bethesda has a pattern of accidentally leaving developer rooms in their games. In Skyrim, players have found secret locations that include every single item in the entire game. They were designed for testing and helped developers get anything they wanted, but obviously they were supposed to be removed and weren't. Even after players found this overpowered Skyrim room, Bethesda still made the same mistake again, leaving another developer area in Fallout 4. One of the creepiest Easter eggs on this list can be spotted in Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. If you use a free cam, you can glitch inside of the animatronics models and see details like their endoskeletons. Except, she says use this knowledge to peek inside of the Golden Monty statue in the mall, and what he found is super creepy. There's a skull in the statue's head, and it's not even in the regular animatronic. Is this an Easter egg or unfinished content? But it gets even creepier, because in the files for the game, data miners were able to find tons of unused models that paint a sinister picture. For example, there's a frozen endoskeleton in the files that is fully rigged and animated. You can find this enemy in a box near the start of the game, but the developers are ready for it to be more than just an Easter egg. There are also other models such as a magician bot, alien robot, but an even a mime. And in Mass Effect 3, a developer put a small Easter egg into the game only for nobody to find it for 10 years. So eventually he got tired of waiting and went to Reddit to reveal the secret. He drew out a diagram of where to go and how to unlock the secret Easter egg. Players who followed his instructions were finally able to see this rover. 
very small, but it breaks my heart to know how many secrets are out there like this that nobody knows about. Over in Fallout 3, there's a secret NPC in Megaton that players were never supposed to find. At the entrance to the town, there's a man on a ledge, but it's impossible to get up here. While most people would assume this man is just a background character, you could use hacks to get up here and actually talk to him. His name is supposedly Stockholm, except in the official guide to the game, the developers call him Solomon. To make things even weirder, if you talk to him, he will ask you how you got up there in the first place. And Valve has a similar sense of humor. In the original Half-Life, players who went into Noclip discovered a ridiculous secret. There's an empty square room floating underneath the map, and the wallpaper is just hundreds of pictures of Gabe Newell. Over in Doom 64, players were able to find a piece of text which exposed an amazing prank by the developers. For sections of the game where there were no textures, the artist included a message that said, I suck at making maps. It was designed to get the attention of playtesters, so they'd have to fix it. Well, it turns out this one wasn't fixed, and you can find a few of these around Doom 64 to this day. But a secret that 99% of players have missed could be spotted in Halo 3. If you somehow managed to flip over one of the most stable vehicles in the entire game, the developers, they got some questions for you. Mostly, how'd you do it? Although I'm pretty intrigued by the mystery of Zelda's Chris Houlihan. In A Link to the Past, some players were able to find a secret room which was super hard to get to. Not only were they rewarded with 45 blue rupees, but you could read a message that said, my name is Chris Houlihan, this is my top secret room. At first, absolutely nobody knew who Chris was, but it was rumored that he won a Nintendo Power Contest in 1990, with the prize being a cameo in a future NES game. Although the winner of the contest was technically never publicly announced, and Chris Houlihan has never actually been found. So is he a real person? That mystery remains unsolved. One of my favorite secrets that players weren't supposed to find is in Jade Empire. Inside this game, there's a mechanic that lets you gamble your earnings, and for players who wanted to rig the system, they used an age-old method. Just leave the game before it saves, and you'll never lose, except when you do it at Jade Empire, the developers are one step ahead of you. In Wave Race Blue Storm, an old jet ski game from 2001, players dug into the files and found a hilarious secret. There was going to be an announcer that just roasted you all the time, but the developers cut it right before the game's release. Is that the best you can do? Weak. Well, that didn't stop leakers from finding his audio files, although it took them almost a decade to do so. And this next secret is probably one of the most incredible discoveries in gaming. Last year, one of the developers behind Homefront The Revolution confessed that he included a full version of the game Time Splitters 2 in the files. It's in native 4K and one of the only PC ports out there. Now, this originally came out in 2002, and fans have been waiting for a remaster for decades, and it turns out there was one sitting here the whole time. So why did it take so long for people to find it? Well, the developer who put it in the files forgot the password to unlock the game. It took a team of hackers just a few days to reverse engineer the code, and they were able to finally free this five-year-old Easter egg. One of the weirdest secrets out there can be found in Marvel vs. Street Fighter. After becoming incredibly popular with Western audiences, some modders decided to go in the game's ROM files and discovered something interesting. There's a character named Norimaru who looked like a nerdy student and slightly resembled the art style of a comedian named Noritake Kanashi. This puzzled a lot of people, but all you had to do was take a flight to Japan if you wanted an explanation. In the original Japanese version of the game, Norimaru is a playable character and even voiced by the comedian who designed him. It's a mystery as to why this character is only in Japan, but it definitely confused a lot of Western hackers, that's for sure. If you guys enjoyed this, it's been Tommy. Keep it here on T5G.